Hi, here's T, and welcome to the second appendix to the trumpet tutorial, where I will show you how to weld things. I mean, how to do the weld effect uh, by two connections. So far, these tubes are getting to this tube, just like putting them inside. But in real, you know, here should be some weld welding and we are just going to do the effect of the welding so the melted metal around so let's begin press F4 and select these and these hide are selected so we will keep just these two objects now to do the welding you can use small techniques like do a shape from this connect with this edit a little bit and do a bridge and I'll make just object here and model around I will be cutting now so I will turn off subdivision of this object but I will keep it here let's go to vertex zoom on this select the vertex and Z get the match is and cut and we are going to just cut around the place where it's going inside the second tube to make an in initial shape which we will, we will be editing after don't worry that some parts will be going inside it's fine the welding will be anyway big, big enough to hide some mistakes. So, just cut it. Cut, cut, and cut. Oh. Here's already at the end of this. By edge, you will have the same problem like me. So, with this edge, bring it, control the polygon, and move this one inside before go to gimbal. Now, lock off. Oh, gimbal. back to vertex and let's do the rest of cuts oh, cut just cut cut and cut around so far nothing hard and anyway it's not hard anyway just take us some small amount of time which is better than to do it like from an object but I think it would be more interesting to do it like that so I think we I already did it yeah I connected it okay so we have the cut around now let's select it Match and loop it. Okay. Chamfer it. Chamfer it like this. Go to local. No. Here. Let's go to view and now keep it. <coughs> now select this edge. Bring it, control by poly, and let's do this here. Let's do some bubble. Eh, eh. My bad. This one local. Put it. Put this on. <coughs> put this down. A little bit. 
chaos select some vertex like obviously these and these and I will move them a little bit back and up now let's say this I will, I will keep how they are select these two no just one move it forward and in some side Just deform the shape. Ay, ay, ay. Too much. Like this. Up. No. So actually, it was down, but. No. Down. Up. So just deform it how you wish. And how you want. You will see on the easel that. Select back this edge, loop it, chamfer it a little bit. Okay. So we chamfered, looped, and press the four just to see the shape and apply the subdivision. <coughs> so you can see that now we have a uh, very soft welding here around. Not everywhere the same, there are some difference. And of course you can <coughs> make a lot more. But now you can see that also a little bit from the distance you can see the difference that it's not just the shape put it in the other shape, but there is something else. This is what we wanted to do. Now now we know if you want to make it bigger just make it bigger by the bevel you can also if you make it bigger de detach these and use relax if you don't know what is relax I will show just quick I will use subdivision and apply modif okay. modifier L relax and look this I will put ok I will keep it here see it's falling inside or something like that so you can use that on that or also noise or things like that to make it more to make more ha house inside but I think also just simple welding like this is already enough to show the difference between no welding and some welding you can see it's actually it's looking not that bad. I'm surprised a little bit, but uh, it was quite easy as you can see. So actually it's all. If you have any question just ask and I hope to see you by some next tutorial and I wish you also good luck. Bye bye.